Okay, hello everyone and welcome to my new series on how to make a top-down shooter in Game Maker Studio 2. Uh, this will be hopefully a 20 video long series. Uh, it's going to be very in-depth on how to make um, a top-down shooter in Game Maker Studio 2. So right now I'm just going to load up my reference file. Okay, cool. Here, so you guys don't have to see that. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to make a few objects, few rooms, stuff like that. So uh, for now, we're just going to make a room. Uh, you can name this whatever you want. Your room. We're going to make it uh, 720p for this, and we'll just rename that uh, RM menu. And RM stands for room. Okay, so another thing we have to do, since in Game Maker Studio 2, it's not very similar to the way 1.4 worked. Uh, in 1.4, you could set the FPS or the speed of the room in the room editor. Well, you can't do that now. If we open up this room, there's only uh, the properties here, viewport, cameras, and uh, your layers and stuff. And it's not like Studio 1.4. So we're going to go to the options, go to main, and then in here we can set uh, game frames per second. We can set that to 60. We want that to be 60 for a solid 60 FPS. Now, of course, depending on how well you want your graphics to look and such, uh, it, it might look uh, or it might perform different than how it performs on this video. So we're going to start by creating a sprite. Now this is going to be for our buttons. This is a global sprite. Uh, I call them gro global sprites because we don't need to make a ton of sprites for just buttons. So if we make this 152 by about 32, that's a good size for a button there. We can go to edit image and in here we're going to select this rectangle tool and we have to press R to make an outline. So now we should be able to make an outline like this. I'm going to outline it twice. And there we go. We can exit out of that. And we're going to center this in the middle center. And there we go. We can exit out of that. And now we're going to go to objects, create an object. And this is going to be called OBJ button. Now, we also don't need to make a ton of uh, objects for our buttons because we can simply write what we want to happen inside this button. So we're going to go to add event create and description just put variables or variable and we're gonna set a variable called txt for text equals and then an open string like a blank string like this exactly how I have it here and that assigns txt to equal a string that we input for it so if we go to add event uh, uh, we're actually gonna make it look like we can actually press it too so if we go down here we're gonna control the image size and then we can go to image x scale equals 1 and image y scale equals image x scale. So now whatever happens, like whatever size the uh, x scale is, the y scale will equal that. So now we're going to go to step. And we have to make sure it's going to update that. So update scale. And in here we're just going to put that line of code that we had in the create event. Now we can go to add event, uh, we're going to go to draw, and this is going to be draw the button. So now we're going to set up a few default variables that GameMaker can supply for us, or basically functions. So we're going to say draw, set, color, see white. We want this text that we're going to draw to be white, since our button outline is white. You can make you know, these whatever colors you want. This is just an example. Now we're going to set the set, like the way the text is being drawn, the uh, horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment. So we do draw, set, A line. And then we're going to do FA center. Horizontal is center. And we're going to set the vertical alignment to be the middle and make sure you have those correct like that. Now we can actually draw the text, so we're gonna draw text, 
XY and then just TXT because we're gonna draw that string. And now we also, I forgot to draw a cell. Make sure we're drawing that sprite, our sprite that we assigned to this object. And there we go. Now if we go to add event, mouse left pressed. So now we can execute the action we want to perform. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a switch statement for our text variable and in here you can um, make it so like we'll do case uh, the first case is going to be play so if our text says play we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna make the room go to rm play like that and then we have to break this case to state that we're gonna start a new one so now I'm gonna do Control C, paste that a few times. Oops. There we go. So now this one is going to be menu. And if that happens, we're going to go to the room menu. If this one says settings, then we're going to go to RM settings. Then if this one says quit, we're just going to simply say game end. Type today, just like that. So that's our switch statement for our button. So now, if we go to our menu, and I'm just going to set this grid to be a little bit different. I'm going to make it 16 by 16. So now, if we go into our resources, we can drag in our button if you're on the instance layer. And I'm just going to drag it right there. I'm going to put three of these. So if you double click on this object you can go to creation code and this is where we assign what that text is going to equal so txt is going to equal play for our top option and then if we double click on this one this is going to be our settings so we do txt equals settings and then this last one is going to be our quick one so txt quit. Okay. Now we have those buttons set up. Now we need to create that other room called RM Play. And I'm just going to make this the same size as the menu. So we don't have to worry about those views right now. And then I'm actually going to set this background color to be uh, a white. There we go. Perfect. Save that. And there we go. That's the first part that we have. Okay. So after the first part, which is making the buttons, we're going to make um, a few objects now uh, to basically set up our player. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a camera. Now, this involves a lot of code, so in this video, I'm just going to go over making the camera and that button. And that will be it until the next tutorial. So we're going to create an object called this OBJ camera. Now, using the default camera in Game Maker, which is just using the room cameras, isn't necessarily good because you can't customize it in any way uh, except the size and such. So this is going to be set up camera. Okay, there's a few built-in camera uh, functions they have, but we need to set up our own variables for this. So we're just going to do, the first variable is going to be target, and that's going to be equal zero. So our target view is zero, and then our rate for our smooth camera is going to equal 0.4. Our distance for the smooth camera is going to be 132. And then our shake is going to equal zero, because we are going to implement screen shaking to kind of spice things up a little bit. So now we're going to initialize the camera. And in here we need to set up uh, some properties for uh, drawing such. Uh, just a few things we can set up for that. So if we're going to draw debug text, actually I should say initialize debug, uh, we're going to set up two variables, draw x and draw y, so draw 
x equals, and then we're gonna do camera get view x, and we're gonna do view oops, underscore camera, and then inside here we're just gonna say target because that is view camera zero. And if we just copy this, and if we paste that right below, change this to y and then change this to Y. There we go. Now we have an X and Y we can draw to with the camera. So we can draw um, our HP, uh, stuff like that. Just basic debug text or even just a HUD if you wanted to do that. So, uh, we can X out of that. If we go to step, description is going to be uh, basically just camera. This is where the action all happens. So we need to set up a few variables for our smooth camera and a few functions for our smooth camera. So if we do var variable uh, x2 and y2, you're going to assign multiple variables by putting a comma in between them. Now we're going to say move towards point this is going to be mouse x and mouse y at a speed of zero. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense now, but we're going to change that in a second. So now we need to set up those x2 and y2 variables. So x2 is going to equal obj player, which we haven't set up yet. Uh, we'll set that up in the next tutorial. Dot x plus length dir x. Now we're going to do a minimum or min of distance and then distance two point and then we're going to say mouse x and mouse y and there we go now if we go over and put a comma we need to put direction for the direction our player is facing and that's it for that so we can copy this again so we don't have to type all this code out and then if we say y2 obj player dot y and then distance y and then I think that's all for that. So remember, distance is the amount we are moving towards that uh, new position. So the camera is going to slowly move towards where your mouse is, but it's still following the player. And then whenever the player moves, it's going to smoothly snap to that position uh, every step of the game. Now we're just going to apply this by saying y, or yeah, nope, x plus equals. And then in parentheses, we're going to put x2 minus x divided by 25. And we can also copy that code and paste it right below. And put y, y2, and y. And there we go. So now we need to get that new position. So position. And we're going to set up a few more variables. This is going to be variable, 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 and variable. Now on all these we could say uh, v vertical position x uh, equals camera get view x. And we're going to say view camera. And then target. And we can copy that and paste it there and say v vertical position y or view position, sorry, not vertical, view. And we're gonna say can we get view y? And that's it for that. Then we set up uh, view position w, which is width, and view position height. So it's gonna be v pause uh, w equals camera get view width so we're just kind of setting up shortcuts here for uh, things that we don't have to type out we don't have to type out all this stuff uh, because the next lines of code we don't want to have to type all this out so view width and then in here we can say view camera target and we're going to copy that code Paste it there. Height. Camera get view. Height. And there we go. And now, in this, we're going to set the new position. 
and then we're going to do two more variables. So it's going to be var new x, so the new position, equals blurp. And then we're going to do v position x obj camera.x, which is just rx position, but I just want to be safe and assign it like that, minus v position w. And then we need to add the rate there and the amount, which is our rate, which is 0 0.4 here. So now we can copy that, paste it here, new y, vertical position, or er, view position. Why do I keep saying vertical? And then just kind of change those like that, and there we go. All right. So now we need to set up those debug variables again. We need to kind of update where they are. So we're going to say draw x equals b position x and draw y equals b position y. There we go. Now we need to apply the screen shake. So if, it, if we assign shake to be greater than zero, we're going to do perform this action, kind of. So, if shake is greater than zero, we're going to say x plus equals random range. So remember, x is uh, basically where the player is at because we are making sure the uh, players or the camera is following the player at a smooth rate. So we're adding a random range to where it, it is at. We're going to say negative shake, shake. So whenever we want to apply screen shake in the other object we're applying the screen shake to, we say obj camera dot shake equals, and then we can sign it like 10. And then we're going to do the same thing for y. just gonna say y plus equals and there we go so now if we press enter again we can do shake times equals 0 0.9 so it's gonna slowly decrease instead of just saying minus equals it might look a little bit different using times equals and then else just be uh, safe and set shake equals zero so we don't have constant shaking like that now we can exit out of that, and that's all for the step event. And that's actually all for the camera. Uh, you can draw stuff to those draw variables in the draw GUI event, uh, and stuff like that. So that is our first tutorial. We, in this tutorial, we created a button that can perform multiple actions and you basically learned how you can add more actions by just copying and pasting that um, that switch statement or the cases you can just copy this add a text add an operation you want to perform and then we created a camera where we assign uh, drawing variables we assign variables for creating a smooth camera and screen shaking and then we apply all of that in this code here and that is all we have to do in order to create a camera and a button so this is the basic foundation for a top-down shooter and next tutorial we'll be adding the player uh, the crosshairs for it so it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and we'll add movement for the player HP and then uh, that'll be all for that tutorial and then the next one we'll be going over some more advanced things that you can do with this game uh, like a leveling system stuff like that so thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials